So I'm going to show you the unboxing of the BMW Motorrad Connected Ride Navigator. Uh, this is as the device comes, it's brand new to me today. I thought I'd just run through taking out the box, showing you what's different to the old nav systems. Anything that's new, uh, just giving you a general idea to see what it's like. So uh, in the box, it's fairly small, it's neat and tidy. We have a unit which is very similar in size to the old nav 4, 5 and 6. Uh, fits in the same cradle on the bike. Nice protective screen cover out the box. They give you a bag with that as well and you get two USB cables. It's moved to USB-C so you've got USB-C to C uh, and USB-C to A as well so you can charge those off most common charge points uh, and use it to plug into a PC or Mac. They also give you small screwdriver in here, again very similar to what you get in a NAV6 currently. The unit itself, uh, big screen on the front, same mounting bracket on the back so that's going to fit in your LC uh, cradle uh, pretty much I think from any since 2013 onwards. Power buttons on the back. You also have a screw connection back over here. That houses the battery and also where you can input the SIM card. So if we unscrew this real quick, just to show you what's under here. Take the back cover out. So fairly large lithium battery. The battery can be removed carefully and underneath the battery to this side here it's just to get your nail in and it pulls out on a tray and this will take a nano sim card you don't have to put that in but uh, I have one I have a data plan on so it just fits in fairly straightforward into there the SIM card uh, allows for over the air database updates, mapping system updates. Uh, I assume it will also connect for traffic, various things like that. So we'll place that back in the box in there. Place the lid back on, just screw those up. like so. Uh, I'll take the screen protector off just for the uh, sake of argument there. So what we'll do is push the power button press and hold the power button get the BMW logo Nice startup logo, nice big bright screen. Uh, pretty much looks a lot like a smartphone, incidentally. Um, no service currently on the SIM card. Power left in the battery. Um, a fairly straightforward slide up to unlock and that takes you to the main menu there. Down this side here, this is the various different settings uh, information on your motorbike, your media, your telephone, connectivity hub, that's where you connect your various devices and if we scroll down further we've got ride recording and then settings up on there. Fairly straightforward, nice and easy to use, looks very good. Navigation screen very similar to the connected ride app that's currently available on the phones. Uh, this primarily just moves it to, onto a device that's separate. I think it's a much better way to do it. Um, I'll go through setup in another video but this was just to see what the unit's like, how big it is, what the screen's like and how you turn it on. Thanks.